Leuven, Belgium. A small, cozy, lively and vibrant city. Home to around 150.000 people. And the oldest university town in Belgium. Hi, I am Martijn and your guide in Leuven. After watching this travel guide you know a lot more about this city to get the most out of your trip. From this historic site to the city center and a great museum to visit. If this Leuven travel guide has given you new travel tips or maybe you just like it, please give a thumbs up or leave a comment under the video. That's the way you can help so other people can discover the video as well and I get to create new videos for you in the future. The closest airport to the city is Brussels International and to travel to Leuven you can use the train. There are several direct connections per hour. There is also a bus service. The journey takes around one hour and a ticket will set you back two to three euros. And the last option is a taxi, but quite expensive, between 50 and 70 euros and that's only an indication. And the journey takes around 25 to 30 minutes. Let's start the Leuven Travel Guide on the UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1998, het Groot Begijnhof. And it dates from the 13th century. This walled village is a beautiful combination of cobblestone streets, traditional houses and courtyard gardens. Around 1960 this area was dilapidated, but the restoration in the 1960s, 70s and 80s makes it a part you can't miss when you are in Leuven. In a moment more about a great museum to visit and this tower, but first the town hall at Stadhuis. And that's really an icon of Leuven. It's one of the most famous Gothic town halls in the world and the first stone was laid in 1439. The outside is beautiful, it's a kind of hall of fame of 235 historical figures. And since the relocation of the city services in 2009, they used the building only for ceremonies. But you can book a guided tour in different languages and to do that you can use the link in the text under the video. The town hall is located at the Grote Markt, a square which is lined out with colorful buildings, outdoor cafes and the St. Peter's Church. Admire the grandeur of the church, an impressive example of Gothic architecture. And don't miss The Last Supper by Dirk Bouts inside. Another historic building and also an architectural marvel is the University Library. Inside you can visit the reading room. And if you take the stairs up you can learn more about the turbulent past of the building with this photo exhibition. And after the fifth floor you reach the tower with a beautiful view over the city. And to book your tickets you can use the link in the text under the video. In a moment more about beer and a great place for a drink, but first M. Leuven. This museum houses a collection of both ancient and contemporary art. The collection mainly focuses on art production in Leuven and Brabant from the Middle Ages to the 19th century. And of course there are also temporary exhibitions. The impressive architecture of the building deserves special attention. With also a roof terrace and a courtyard. The best place for having a drink. I think that's at the Oude Markt, the Old Market. A really unique place because nowhere else you find so many bars and restaurants together on one square. It's also a meeting point for locals, especially on a hot day like today, when the terraces are filling up. Leuven is the birthplace of Stella Artois, the famous beer brand. And you can visit the brewery during a tour on Saturday and Sunday and see it in full action. The tour lasts about two hours and the ticket will set you back around 14 euros. But when you are here, just like me, on another day, you can visit the Horn. And that's the old Stella Artois brewery. A place you cannot miss is Park Abbey. It's the best preserved abbey site in Belgium. A green rest area on the edge of the city, where the farmlands and the abbey buildings tell a beautiful history. The interior of the abbey monastery contains art treasures such as unique stucco ceilings and a corridor with 20 monumental stained glass panels. And with your monastery ticket you can also visit the museum Parkum. 
Leuven houses the oldest botanical garden of whole Belgium. It's called the Kruidtuin. The University of Leuven built it in 1738 for the medical students. And when you are a lover of plants and herbs, you can indulge yourself in the whole collection. And there is no entrance fee. What is the best time for a visit? I think between May and September. The warmest months are June, July and August and the coldest are January and February. And yes, this is a real castle, Arenberg. Although the castle itself isn't open to the public, the grounds are worth exploring. You already saw a lot of historic sites, but the city has also the opposite. A new district with a lot of nice bars and restaurants, the Vaartkom. Once this was an industrial and brewery site, which is now being transformed into one of the hippest spots in town. A perfect district to discover how old and new go hand in hand. Please give a thumbs up, thank you so much when you like this Leuven travel guide. And if you don't want to miss new episodes, just subscribe on my YouTube channel. It's totally free and it enriches your view on the whole world. Tot ziens, ciao, hasta luego.